Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's an envelope punch board. Envelope? Boxelope? I don't know what you'd call it. And inside are three tea lights. Now these are Ikea tea lights and these are an orangey scent and they're lovely. And so I've chosen Ikea tea lights because I know everybody everywhere can get hold of those because everybody's got an Ikea somewhere nearby. Um, I think fortunately for me, mine isn't nearby. Otherwise, I'd probably be there every other week. So, oh, look, why can't I get that back on? <laughs> Doesn't want to play. But these are, there we go. I did have the wrapper out for these just now, but I've lost it. Um, but they are just the standard scented ones. It's probably on the floor or something. Um, but yeah, they're the standard scented tea lights, easy to come by. I'm going to show you how to make it. So, you need a piece of cardstock that is six by six inches. And um, this one I made in Island Indigo because I've got the Celebration Wildflower fields designer series paper going on there i'm using it using it again but with a different uh, color coming through so six by six inches which is 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter centimeters and obviously you need your envelope punch board too so i'm going to give you the metric the imperial measurements first and then i'll give you the metrics so you're looking for three and five eighths of an inch which i can't see there we go three and five eighths of an inch punch and score and that is 9.2 centimetres and then you slide it up to four and a half punch and score and that is 11 and a half centimetres and then you turn it around and we're going to join up these two lines here so this score this scored line here you join it up to a little um bit stick tick i don't know what you call it the score guide you line it up to that punch and score and then the same with the second one you punch and score that one but then we're on this side this second side we're going to put in a third one so we're punching and scoring and this one we're going to come into four and five eighths of an inch which is 11.8 centimeters punch and score come around we're going to punch that one but not score it so we're going kind of back to the original measurements so we're not scoring that and we're following on with these ones. So again, punching and scoring, punching and scoring, punch and score, punch and score. And then the final one, the same as we did over on this side, four and five eighths of an inch, which is 11.8 centimeters, punch and score. And we'll just punch out that side as well. And this bit here we're actually going to cut off because that's going to give us this bit here otherwise it would have folded around and it would have all just got complicated so it's easier just to chop it off so where's my big scissors here we go so it's this section here so you've got very long horizontal lines not the short bit and it's the the third one that's the bit you're chopping off and the same around there So that's the cutting done for now and then we're going to burnish all of these score lines because obviously after all it is a box and it's cardstock stamping up cardstock which is lovely sturdy stuff so we need to manipulate the card and let it know we're boss okay and then we just need to do a tiny little bit of trimming so again holding it this way round as we did before just cut up these little straight lines here there and there okay and then exactly the same round on the other side as well and so the box is all going to close in like that so where we put our adhesive is actually on these side tabs here so I'm going to flip it over we're going to put glue on there and there and that section of the tab so i'm going to grab my fuse which i had just a second ago so just the bottom half of it and there and, there, and then the same there whoops okay so this is going to fold up and this is how we're going to shape our box so if you put your little tabs in first And then 
it's going to sound complicated, but where you've got this curvature here, that bit is a relatively straight line. So you're going to line it up to this part here. And that's fairly straight and that's fairly, fairly straight. It doesn't meet, as you can see, it doesn't meet, but it is, you know, it's the same height really. So in go your three tea lights, like that. Perfect. Fold it over. And that's, you can see now why we cut that bit off and we cut it off there. Okay. So now it's just a case of wrapping it. So I've brought out the, the celebration designer series paper again. Oh, just on the tripod. Pulling up my sleeves and whacked it. Um, so celebration, I can tell you um, for the European prices, I don't know Australian, Canadian, American, but in the UK and Europe, if you spend over £45 or €60, Euros, you can choose something for free from your wonderful catalogue. And I had already sent about 400 of these out in the post. Um, I do have plenty more. So, and I have them in, um, I have them in English and I also have them in German and French as well, so I can send them out to European countries. But yeah, so it's every, every £45 you spend, you get something for free. So if you send £90, you can choose two things. So €120, Euros, you can choose two things. And there's loads to choose from. Um, I think there's 11 different things. And then there's a couple of things towards the back that are on limited supply. This stamp set here, that paper and that stamp set, and I can't remember what date it is. Oh, 15th of February. So if you haven't got them by then, you're not going to get them. So the three at the back. But there's, yeah, there's loads to choose from. And this is the paper pack. And it's got lovely colours in. So this measures 6 by 2 inches, which is 5 by 15 centimetres. And I'm just going to wrap it round. But I do want to finish with more of the Calypso coral on this part. Oh, I should have started it like that, I think. There we go. Hang on. Let's try that again. So, yeah, I want the Calypso Coral to be the one that's on display. So, there we go. So, I've got too much. I'm just going to hack off a bit. <laughs> and when I go like that, that will be my lovely Calypso Coral, and I'm going to cover up that bit too. So, let me just strengthen these crease lines. Why don't you just love non-scientific scoring? Wrap it round, bend it a bit and crease it. Very technical stuff. There we go. So when I, when I now come and put this on, it wraps perfectly. Like that. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive under this bit and this is the one that I want uppermost. I'm going to smidge on there. And I don't want to do it too tight because I want to be able to slide it on and off and not fight with it like I did with the sample. There we go. So that has got our, our join at the front, but it is hidden away. I chose, oh, I can't remember what the name of the stamp set is now. Oh, forgotten the name, it's too new to me. I chose a different stamp set for that, but I'm going to go with the Project Life one here, Memories in the Making. I love this. I'm convinced that they have stamped Poodle Loops. Absolutely convinced of it. <laughs> I'm so naughty, aren't I? So I'm going with Sunny Days Ahead. And, oops, oh, I can't get this. This is a brand new pack. And this top layer, you take it off and you remove it and that's the bit that stays inside your stamp set now so they, they very slightly change the layout of or the way um, photopolymer stamps are stored now so uh, scrap of white my calypso coral ink oh so pretty and then I've got my oval punch this time. This is the large oval punch. You know what I'm like. I have to do things different or differently. A bit more Calypso Coral cardstock. And while I've got this out, I am going to do the same flower that I did before with my itty bitty punch. So I have three of those, which I'm going to lift up on my spongy mat that just looks terrible. I think I might have to turn it over or get a new one because that's just not pretty. Uh, where are we? Some 
candy dots, and these are the Whisper White ones. So three of those in there. Got shaky hands today. I've not had enough coffee. Clearly, either that or too much. Depends on your perspective, I guess. And then I'm going to put all of these together, so some dimensional. So that's my stamping on the back there. It feels like this video has gone on for ages. Maybe I chatted too much at the beginning. Sorry. So that's on there, and then I'm going to cover it like that. I want it sort of off a little bit because I don't want to cover it. Oh, maybe I'll do it. I think I'll do it like that, so up a little bit. So I'm going to put some adhesive, but just on the bottom half. So up and off to one side so it will all still slide. And then my flowers I'm just going to pop all over the place now. So mini glue dot. Definitely need one there. Definitely need one there. And the third one, because we have to do everything in threes, just in there. And that is my cute little envelope punch board tea light box for three Ikea tea lights. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.